Although mum was very handy with her needle, so I really it didn't affect me any time. And she was very handy with you know with the food. I don't know really. I think mothers were. Mm -hmm. My mum was the same. I, yes, I remember Judith well. saying to me one day, "Of course you you were starving during the war." And I stopped and thought, and I thought, I don't ever remember being no, hungry during the war. I can't remember. My starving. mother, my mother lived through the first world when there were wasn't Russia. And well, that was worse. Yes, much worse. She said that the system was, you know, that the rationing that we had during the war was very much fairer. Because mm. during the First World War, anybody with money, mm. Mm. Um, if a shop got food, they could go in and buy them yeah. up. Yeah. Whereas yeah. you couldn't do that in the no. Second no, World War. No, you couldn't, no. no. My mother always emphasised mm. that. Whereas it was where a much we were, fairer way. we had our own chickens and we had our own rabbits mm. and eggs and things mm. like that, you know. I mean, you, you've just got used to the ration, I suppose, really. I mean, yeah, and well, this I is a, a strange thing because somebody contradicted me when they had the tea party at the dockyard yeah. oh, when yes. the young girl yeah. said to me, of course, there was no fish and chips, and I said, you must be joking. Mm -hmm. I think we lived on more fish and chips mm -hmm. then. Because it wasn't yeah. ration. Yeah. It wasn't ration. Yeah, it wasn't. No, it she wasn't. said, but you couldn't get yeah. it. Mm -hmm. I said, well, yeah. I never went yeah. without fish and chips. I can't ever remember going short of anything. I mean, yeah. you know, the, well, actually, I was never a very big eater anyway. You'd so. take one fish and chip shop. Mm. They had fish and chips, and another one was closed. But the next night, that shop was open. Yeah, it was the same as yeah. the pubs. That's right. One night, yeah. the one yeah. pub had, had the beer. The next night, yes, another pub another had one. the beer. Yeah, that's but right. Yeah. You always managed yeah. to seem to. Yes. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I think my dad, being a master dairyman, I think he did a bit of fiddling with the rations because I know sometimes he would come home with a extra half of, well, the eggs because Green Farm belonged to his brother and they had chickens so we always had eggs and, um, and he people were pretty resourceful I mean there was Spam wasn't there? Yes, oh, yeah. Spam, there was a substitute and there yeah. was substitute yes. powdered egg yeah, and powdered powdered egg. to do wonders yeah. with that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sorry, and you grew, you grew your own vegetables yeah. and don't forget we had dripping too the, green, the fat from the Sunday yeah. drop Dripping, we had on dripping bread. and bread yeah. and all bread, that. Yeah, because bread thing. wasn't rationed. Yeah. No, bread no, wasn't rationed. No. They did. No. It didn't wasn't they, as nice. Didn't, no. Didn't they ration it after, after the, the war? war. Yes. 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 Yeah, yes. They after rationed the bread after, after the war, yeah, not it, during. No. Mind you, it was a dirty khaki cup. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was after the but war. Sorry. We had plenty of. And a tin of fruit you had to. Um, by with points. points, they were in the back of the ration yes. book. I've still got a ration book and a clothing book. Yes, yeah. oh, I should have bought that. Oh, I didn't yeah. think I about it. My ration mm. book. And when, oh. when yes, I've still got a ration Bring book. Bring it in and let us see. I will. And mm. when the war first started, you didn't have sweet ration. And when no. you knew a shop had sweets, then you queued up for it. Yeah. But then they they bought, yeah. A, then yeah. they bought a uh, yeah. sweet ration. Didn't yeah. they? And my sister and I were lucky we had an uncle that didn't eat sweets, and he always used to give us his sweet ration. Yeah. Yeah, so I bring those in. Yeah. And it's like I didn't eat jam or take sugar. Dad loved jam and sugar. Yes. But he won't get keen on cheese. So I had Dad's cheese wrap. Yes. Mum yeah. used to do that yeah. within yeah. the family. Yes, yeah, that's right. Well, you could, mm. but one didn't like another yeah. one did. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think we did pretty well considering yes, yeah. you know that we there was a war. We didn't on, starve so anyway. No, we, we didn't, didn't no we no. didn't go hungry. No. No. There was no. always there was always something we could find and yeah. eat. Yeah, oh, you never went very far from home. You always made sure you were near a, near an air age shelter, right. didn't you? Mm -hmm. You didn't go very far away from home at all because of that. Yeah, so that you could get into an air age shelter. Do you remember when that uh, uh, plane came through Havant and into Emsworth and machine gunning people. 
Yeah. You remember when it was machine gunning yeah, in a high? Yeah, I could take you to a bungalow yeah. and the, the bullet holes are still under the window. It's really? My grandmother's bungalow. Yeah. Well, I was running home from my music lesson when that was That's on. It. And you remember the logs along Bridgefoot Pass yeah. there? And I was coming past the log and I'd met up with my friend Mavis, Mavis Newton, and we were both running and I could see the black and white cross on the wing. Yeah. He was so low. I'm sure he could have hit us if he had wanted to. Yeah. But I think he was just trying to scare us. Yeah. And uh, and he was machine gunning and we two kids were running like the devil. And I fell into the air raid shelter when I got home. My grandmother said, what are you doing out in this air raid? You know, why weren't you on, on, in a shelter? And I got really ticking off for that. And my mother, she, he came, this same, yeah, must have been the same one. You must have been coming home from school because it was, it, it was, it a, was school, a Wednesday. It was a school bus that he sort of, sort of uh, the bus had school yeah. kids on it. That, yeah, know. no, I wasn't, I hadn't, I had, I went to my music lesson on oh. Wednesday because I don't know about the section at Tollies you were in, but in my section of Tollies, if you didn't take French, you had to take music. And I chose to take music. And so I went to my music teacher who lived in St. James Road in um, Emsworth. And, uh, but mum, she was in a, she just left work and she worked in Havant and she was in a bus queue and and she had had the same experience as me. She said there was a queue of people and this plane came low and was machine gunning and people and she flew. went under the doorway of streets and there was a woman in front of her and um, mum said when this had passed over she and she opened because she said she had her eyes closed and she had her head buried in the coat of the woman in front of her and when she opened her eyes, this woman's coat was red and Mum thought that she'd been hit. <coughs> but what had happened was one of the bullets must have caught the brickwork and it was red brick dust on her coat. Yeah. And Mum came home and told my Gran about her experience and Gran said, well, your daughter was also out and she was running home from music lesson. <laughs> yeah, he could, I mean, I think, well, I'm sure. I mean, we were in the open and he could have easily hit us. But I think he must have been a decent German pilot mm. and couldn't bring himself to um, you know, shoot down two kids. Yeah. Mm. So we got away with it.